Why, hello there, and welcome to the channel. I'm Rival Boss, and it's been a while since I've made a new video on this channel. That's mostly because of work and raising a one-year-old, and also the fact that I started up a new channel devoted to toys, reviewing them and then giving them away, uh, called uh, Toy Box Quest. Uh, you can find a link in the description. Uh, and basically the idea of the channel is I love toys as well and I'm going to be reviewing them and then hopefully if I can grow the subscriber count like I grew this one a little bit I'll just be giving those figures away to you guys. Uh, I'm also debating on doing that on this channel as well like with some retro video games and stuff like that. Uh, let me know if you guys would like that idea or you know to help grow the channel or, uh, and also give me some support on the other channel if you guys can. But about this video today. So one of my more popular videos I ever did was uh, where to buy video games online for cheap still, like all the retro games and stuff. And basically, I, I, I needed to make an update to that because there are a few sites and places you can go that are not good anymore and there are a few new sites that I like and prefer, as well as what to do, like what are you putting in to find the best deals and the best ways to buy video games. So without further ado, I'm going to give you guys a very jerry-rigged video of uh, me capturing my monitor because I don't really want to set up my video capture device right now, but I still think I can give you guys a high quality video as far as like the meat, like what to do. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And go check out Toy Box Quest as well. But now, without further ado, let's get on to the real stuff. Okay guys, so one of the first websites I liked back then and I still like today is Goodwill's good, uh, shopgoodwill.com. Now it, it got an overhaul just recently where it looks a lot better, it functions a lot better, you can now bid on things. Down here you can see you can actually bid on things much quicker uh, once you have an account. Oh, just because everyone wants active, you know, we fit there. I mean, whoa, what what a deal at eight ninety nine, what a deal! But uh, you can still find. So here's the deal with what I feel like is happening at Goodwills right now. So Goodwills went from being where you could go in and find like NES games, Super Nintendo games, and stuff like that, and that just isn't a thing anymore. And I feel like what happened is after COVID, they shut down a lot of those glass cases, at least here in Arizona, everywhere. And uh, even I've been other places too. They've kind of done that. And what, what is the deal though, is that they've shut down those glass cases and they've decided to start selling video games and other expensive items like purses and stuff on their auction website. And that's good and bad for you. Good in the fact, you know, well, I should say bad in the fact that you can't just go to a Goodwill and find a treasure like this anymore. Um, but good in the fact that not a lot of people actually still know about Shop Goodwill's website, like the Goodwill auction website. They're still going to the store. Like you'll literally see people just sitting around at the store. And you can still find a good deal every once in a while. But man, why not just go home and do an auction? Because like you can still get a smoking deal here. So here's how you kind of set this thing up. So for the, uh, for the Goodwill website, what you're going to want to do is you're going to put it in video game and then whatever you're looking for. So for example, I picked Nintendo, but you can do Sega, you do PlayStation 4, PS5, whatever. Then you want to do ending soonest. Now these are all things that are going to end usually in a couple days, three days, three hours, or I mean within a couple hours. And you could find some really good deals. Now, if you see lots of bids, like this Nintendo 3DS XL, while at a good price, does have 12 bids already and only three hours. That will probably go pretty high, but you can look around here and find things that are not that expensive. Like this NES that only has four, uh, SCNES that only has four bids, 21 bucks. Uh, Super Mario 64, five bid, 16 bucks. Like these items, oh, look at this beauty. 15 bids, but I think that's a 101, the graphite. Anyway, things like this, you can still get at a much lower deal than you could at a retro store. And um, the Goodwill, Shop Goodwill website still does not have a ton of people buying from it. Like, there are some, obviously, but it's nowhere near eBay. So that is a really good place to still find deals. Uh, now let's talk about eBay, okay? 
you got two options now at eBay. Uh, you can either do, you know, whatever video game. I just put in generic video games for this example. You can do two ways. You can do buy it now and then do newly listed. And what you're looking for here is you're looking for newly listed items that the people might have put up that don't know the value of something. And you might be able to find a buy it now where they've listed the buy it now price. They didn't do all their research to find out what it was worth. And it's up there and you can snag it. Now, the problem with this is you're going to have to look daily, sometimes, you know, twice, three times a day to kind of see if anything new and exciting has been put up. And you're just going to scroll through it. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, you will find good deals every once in a while like this where you'll get somebody that just popped something up that didn't do any research and you'll get a steal. Okay, so that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to do, again, I have generic video game, but put it whatever you want, whatever you're kind of into, Super Nintendo, whatever. Put that in there. Change it to auction and ending soonest for the time. So time, ending soonest, auctions. And what this is going to pull up, we're going to refresh this page is basically things that are just now ending. So like, let's say I really wanted Dragon Age Inquisition. This is where I can snipe people and they might have made a bid earlier in the week, but they thought they did a good and they thought they were going to get it. And you might be able to get some real steals. So we're going to put video game Nintendo, if I could spell, and like this. Let's say I really... That's not a bad deal for a Donkey Kong game. It's not great either. But I I would I only got seconds left, and I can go in here and bid on this and maybe win this thing. So the other way to do it is, yeah, three times a day, something like that. Just come in here, look what's closing the next hour or so, or maybe two hours, and that way you can snipe people. Because these are where people kind of just kind of forget about. They made a bid, and you can get a good deal this way. Okay. Okay, and next up we have a new website called High Bid, and this is another auction website that I discovered. Uh, you can find some pretty unique um, deals on here. Uh, things like this Game Boy, you know, uh, with the box, Play It Loud, Black Game Boy. Uh, auctions with entire bunches, lots of systems and stuff. And this is again where you, it's not a very high demand website. Uh, but you can actually find some pretty cool deals in here. Um, and, of course, they have different types of auctions as well. They have the normal kind of like eBay auctions. Uh, a lot of times they'll even have, um, you know, a live online auctions as far as like where they're actually, you bid on the things live and stuff like that. Attendee lot, online ones, um, all types of stuff like that. And you, you can also figure out like, you know, closing soonest, just like eBay. And you can figure out, you know, some good deals. There's a lot of junk on here, too. Uh, but there is some pretty neat stuff. It's not quite as well-known as eBay, let's say. Uh, I actually have bid on things on here. I've never won anything yet um, for what, like, what I want to pay. So I, I can't legitimately say that this is a 100% legit website. It looks like it, and it seems to work like it. And I, you know, but I can't swear by it. Um, next up, of course... You have Macari. Now, Macari was in my old video, but I didn't really explain as well in that video of what you're looking for on Macari, right? So, on Macari, you you basically are looking for people that have put... Th these are people that are going through the garage, right? And they're going to find things in their garage that, oh, they're like, oh, I could put this on eBay or uh, Macari and sell this. So, you're going to want to do it by video game lots. Because this is these are people that want to get rid of a large amount of video games, so they usually group them all together and give you a good deal. And then you're going to want to sort it by newest, like the newest listings. And why we do that is we can find some good deals in here of people that have just thrown things up, uh, which by the way, like thirty-five dollars for those two games, not a bad deal. Um, but you're just going to kind of look through, and you're going to look for lots that have, you know, mom, uh, grandpa and grandma written all over it where they just went through the attic and got rid of all the video games that their kids that have moved out have. Like, and you'll find some good deals. So, like, these ones. You want to go in here, you want to look at all these uh, PlayStation 2 games, 
and see if there's any good winners in here. And a lot of times people go through them nowadays a lot more than they used to uh, and pull out the good stuff and sell it. But you can still find people that put good stuff up and uh, don't know what they have in their thing. But usually that's only going to happen with the new auctions. So that's why you're picking newest first because people by the time it's out there on the website for quite a while people are going to buy it it's going to be gone so the only way you're going to find it is to sort it new so next up i have three like retro video game stores that i i haven't actually bought much from uh if anything a couple of them i haven't bought anything um but they seemed like pretty good deals we got dk oldies at dkoldies.com i am not sponsored by any of these video uh, any of these websites by the way so just keep that in mind um but they seem to have pretty good deals on things like Super Nintendo, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 for $18.99. It's not bad. Uh, you're still not going to get as good deal as you ever would, like, buying it from an auction website like the ones I've showed you. But as far as just, like, not having to hassle with that versus, you know, th these are pretty good prices. So this is a website that I, I have seen. Uh, another one I have is called uh, Captain N... Games Inc. Like Captain, I'm gonna guess this is supposed to be like Captain N, the Game Master, but it's got this real honey. Uh, they, they need. I'm sorry, you guys need to get rid of the stupid. This this looks stupid, but uh, <laughs> but they've they've had some pretty good deals on here too. Uh, here's Sonic uh, Adventure DX Director's Cut for 35 bucks. That ain't bad. Um, you'll see some real like uh, if you wanted uh, Jedi Knight on GameCube for 10.99. There you go. So I just sorted them by that. $39 for Ultimate uh, Spider-Man. Not bad. Still not as good as you would ever get on an auction website. But again, you don't have to deal with all the hustle and bustle. Lastly, I have E-Starland. And, you know, not bad deals, honestly. Not great deals either. Um, but they do have... A, this E-Starland does have a very big assortment of stuff. So I did like that a lot more. Uh, than the other couples, uh, and the, the prices seemed very fair, honestly. Um, but again, I haven't used these websites. I just have seen them, and I've kind of browsed them looking, and they seem like good deals. Uh, lastly, a little note on OfferUp. So OfferUp kind of died off because of COVID, which is really sad, um, but it is what it is, right? But you can still find good deals on here. People, they do have now added where you can buy it now and get it shipped to you, which is really helpful. Um, but you can still find some good deals. Like here's a 3DS, 140 bucks. Again, this is going to be one of those things where you'll find lots and stuff where people are just getting rid of stuff. You got to look through it. Um, but there is, you know, you, there are deals to be found here still. Uh, but the problem is you're going to have to drive there usually. Unless you buy one of their their auto buy things and inspect it, and there are people like you that know what they have too, or are asking too much like for them. But OfferUp kind of died, but it's coming back a little bit, so it is still worth checking out, uh, especially on things like if you're ever buying a car. By the way, that's a good way to buy a car, uh, dishwashers and stuff like that. I use OfferUp still, uh, and but honestly, the other only other place I can think of that's a good deal is to go to cons like video game cons. Because they're having to compete with a bunch of other people, so they, a lot of times you can haggle them down in price. Don't go crazy with the haggling, but you can haggle them down in price. So those are just some good places I still have found to buy video games. I hope you guys like this video. And if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help. Please check out the other channel, Toy Box Quest, and subscribe to that so we can give away some toys. So this is The Rival Boss. Again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Until next time, this is Rebel Boss signing off. Thanks.